weather. And now for a check of your first warning forecast, let's get right to meteorologist Cheryl Nelson. Erica, a gorgeous day today across Hampton Roads. A little on the cool side, but hey, not bad. I'll take it after all the showers and storms we had yesterday. Lots of sunshine across the area for today. And our weather headlines, sunny and warmer on Monday. Breezy, and I'm going to call it much warmer for Tuesday. Then we turn a little bit unsettled once again for the middle part of our work week. But enjoy the next couple of days. If you like springtime, even summer-like temperatures, you are going to love it. Speaking of summer, there's a look at the Virginia Beach oceanfront right now. Not a lot of people out on the beach, but boy, tomorrow, if you have the day off, I bet you're going to see a lot more people outside. Temperatures right now on the south side, 62, 63 peninsulas, 56, though, on the eastern shore shore with the winds coming in out of the northeast, keeping them cooler off the water. Temperatures elsewhere, as you can see there, Melfa at 54 degrees as well. 60 Virginia Beach, but you get away from the water's influence and notice temperatures are actually still quite warm. 71 in Wakefield, 70 degrees in Emporia at this hour. But if you want temperatures even warmer than that, let's look down to our south and west. These were high temperatures for today. Yes, not bad around here, but what about 80 in Columbia, 79 Atlanta, 78 in Knoxville there, and 81 degrees in Birmingham. Our winds are going to be the key player for tomorrow. They're going to turn into the south and southwest, and that's going to bring these warmer temperatures right back up into Hampton Roads. At the same time, no precipitation to worry about. High pressure is right on top of us as that scoots off to our east tomorrow. That's going to allow winds on the backside of that high to bring us those warmer temperatures. So as I advance this map here, you can see as we move forward, there goes the high, so the warmer temperatures come in. But notice as we get into Tuesday, here comes a cold front. With that, late in the day, we will start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially into Tuesday night. But until then, though, things are going to be high and dry. Looking ahead at our forecast map, lots of sunshine for us on Monday, right into Monday night and Tuesday as well. Late in the day on Tuesday, that's a chance for showers and thunderstorms, but once again, looking very nice as we go back to work and school. Weather and your health, though, I know, uh-oh, always a fly in the ointment, right? So allergies, yes, tree pollen, it's still out there. Sunburn, put on that sunscreen for tomorrow. At least the air quality is good for most of us. Mosquitoes you're going to start to notice them coming out a little bit as well. So just keep that in mind for the next couple of days. Our forecast though for tomorrow looks like this. A little chilly in the morning. You may need a jacket 50 degrees or so to start. 72 by midday and 79 degrees for your daytime high. We'll get some 80s though inland. Our seven day forecast as we go into Tuesday, how about 84 degrees? That's going to be our warmest day. And then going into the middle part of the week, we do cool down. We have a cold front that comes through, then it kind of hangs out on top of us, keeping us unsettled for Wednesday and Thursday. But not bad though. Temperatures actually in the 70s, Erica, for the remainder of the week. And I love the warmer weather, so it looks like a gorgeous forecast to me. Oh, you're gonna love the next couple of days. I say take the day off, go to the beach. Oh, that would be nice. Also, yes. we have to say welcome to the station. Thank you. She's in for us today. Well, Divinus enjoys a rare Sunday off, so we are so glad to have you here. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Happy to be here. And already on the same page. I swear we did not plan it, even though we are pretty <laughs> much wearing matching outfits right now. We're twins. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So glad to have you here. Thank you. All right, so still to come now on News Channel 3, celebrities and fans alike continue tributes around the country for music icon Prince. We'll have more coming up.